in all areas of the catering industry, from restaurants and hotels through to event caterers or hospital kitchens, the margin between making a profit and suffering a loss remains a continuous challenge. More businesses close in this sector than in any other due to the lack of regular customers, profit margins, or the amount of wastage, or perhaps a combination of all three. Vacuum packing addresses all these problems. Over the years, we've seen the process increasingly used in the retail business. Now these benefits can be experienced in all our kitchens, helping reduce escalating costs and making the best use of our staff's time. This is one of the tabletop models by Multivac. Multivac developed this machine after they saw a need for a practical sized vacuum packer for the commercial kitchen which was flexible enough to control all manner of vacuum packed products within strict specifications. Now we all need more space in our kitchens. So these models have been designed to be either tabletop or with a floor stand as a mobile unit, which will free up all the space on your worktop. You can see that it's made of stainless steel, so it's robust enough to move around and is easy to clean. If you look at the construction inside and out, there are no crevices or gaps that allow bacteria or dirt to gather. So as a piece of kitchenware, it is very hygiene friendly. The lid seal needs to be, and is, very durable, and the window allows you to keep an eye on the vacuum packaging process. You can remove the seal bar and the tilted inserts for cleaning. It doesn't take a minute, and it's easy to do. With the LCD programmable functions, you can preset programs automatically or manually to control the pressure depending on your needs. The preset program means that even less skilled staff can achieve perfect results. The keypad is also waterproof, so again it's hygiene friendly. This quick stop button allows you to control the packing of all items. It's especially useful to stop any spillage of liquids, such as soup for example, because they can bubble up under pressure. By vacuum packing in advance, you'll find that you can even out the workload, saving you masses of time. Multivac's unique gentle re-ventilation system stops hard items such as seafood shells, for example, from puncturing the pouch. This is a useful device, as you'll see. There's also a double seam with a sever seal bar that allows the excess plastic to be cut away after packaging. Apart from being more hygienic, we also want to minimize the pack size. This will reduce the amount of refrigerated storage space required. Now it's all very well that a vacuum packer is practical and well designed for the modern kitchen, but as an appliance, what does it actually do for you in terms of reducing costs and time? Chefs often ask, isn't it all about storage? Well the short answer is no. Vacuum packing is more versatile than that. It will save you time, labour and reduce wastage. The concept is very simple. By putting foodstuffs or liquids inside a pouch, extracting the air and heat sealing it, this process reduces the likelihood of contamination by improving hygienic storage and prolonging the shelf life of the product. Although in reality, the process does much more than just that. Let me show you how vacuum packing can help from storage through to serving in this typical seasonal menu. I'm going to select each dish and explain the benefits of process from start to finish. You don't have to be an Einstein to use these packers. There's very little science the operator needs to know in order to work this machine. I'll show you how to pack this Gravlax of salmon. Very simple. Pop it in the bag, onto the machine, smooth down the edge, and lower the lid. Voila, vacuum-packed Revlex. I should mention at this point how important it is to refrigerate all your packed foods after you've used the vacuum process. Remember, vacuum packing doesn't improve standards of cooking or preparation, but it does lengthen the shelf lives of the foods. It still needs the same attention to detail as any other food that has been packed by more conventional methods. 
Game dries out quickly, as we know, but vacuum-packed after preparation preserves the meat and the value is kept. Pulsed evacuation gently removes the air from products like terrines and maintains the taste and texture. With liquids such as soups and sauces, you can use the inserts in the packer to keep it all tilted correctly, which stops any spillage and keeps the pouch flat before you start the sealing process. It's important with all vacuum packing that you keep the seal area uncontaminated. Labelling the pouches is also important. I tend to put the name of the dish, the packer's name, date when it was packed, and the shelf life I expect it to have. Inevitably, when you bulk buy meats, hygienic storage and shelf life are the main concerns. Having prepared the raw meats, you run the risk of dehydration and drip loss, not to mention the hygiene considerations of cross-contamination with other meats or fish in storage. Now, vacuum packing, soon after purchase, tackles all these issues by preventing weight loss and therefore saving costs. With the uncooked turkey being packed a few days before, it also improves its tenderness. Now you can get your staff to carry out the vacuum packing during quiet periods, i.e. prepping in the morning, and vacuum packing also allows you to pre-cook the dish, portion it, and store it ready for use. The cranberry sauce and the chestnuts can also be pre-packed. Just to show you that it isn't all about packing and storage, marinating your meats or fish whilst they're vacuum packed has its advantage. This halibut can be marinated using less marinade than normal as the vacuum in the pouch intensifies the process in the pack. This has a cost benefit. You can also save a considerable amount of time because the fish absorbs the flavours far quicker. Marinating time is therefore considerably reduced. Fish is a delicate product and unpacked it can easily be damaged. By vacuum packing you would definitely reduce this problem. This vegetarian option from our seasonal menu highlights another example of how fresh food can even be pre-cooked and packed before serving. You can take the cooked ravioli and using either a steam pressure unit or through simple boiling, reheat the pasta and serve. If you decide to turn the vegetable leftovers into a soup, again you can pour this into a pouch and vacuum seal until serving, using the inserts in the chamber which keep the excess liquid from pouring out. This is a way of cutting down on your wastage. Again, make sure that once vacuum packed, you have labelled the packages. The shelf life of these products is increased dramatically, whilst keeping the contents inside as fresh as the day they were packed. I've definitely noticed faster service by pre-portioning the dessert. It is notoriously difficult to estimate the amount of puddings you'll serve on any one service. For instance, these pre-portioned Christmas pudding slices are ideal as they will stay fresh so much longer. So why not use multivax vacuum packer to prevent any wastage? Why not bulk buy your cheese, pre-portion it and process in the multivac, thereby saving time, reducing cost and preventing wastage? This branded apricot brulee is very delicate. So by manually adjusting the vacuum pressure inside the chamber prevents any damage. This selection of dishes has shown you a range of foods that the multi-vac vacuum process can help. It works in all areas of preparation and storage. It saves time and money without ever compromising the quality of the foods we serve. Many chefs have pointed out that due to the nature of our business, the demand for high quality dishes at competitive prices will continue to challenge our existing technology. For a long time now, we've needed an appliance which addresses the issue of storage, both before and after cooking. Vacuum packing is becoming important in giving more control in our working kitchens. If you need to save time, reduce costs, increase profit, and benefit in the ways that I've just demonstrated, then don't overwrap it, just vacuum pack it.